Hey, I'm Bepper. This is Dash Tag, and you are watching one of my videos. Let's get into it. So I have done one other video about Dash Tag in the past of me kind of just playing it and exploring it and looking around. And since that video, I have become completely obsessed with this game. Like, I, I play it in all of my spare time. I am becoming someone I don't even recognize. Every single spare second of my time is spent playing this app, okay? And because of this, I have now gotten every single pet you can get on Dash Tag. Now, I am definitely not the first person to do this. The first person was M19919, I think? Or something like that, some combination of ones and nines. And they even appeared on the Instagram account Jammershade, and they were showing off each and every single one. And then Typical Rocky made a video showing that video about each and every single one. But the thing is, the video really didn't go into depth about each and every character. It just kind of like scrolled through and like, oh, here, here are all the animals. But they didn't show you each and every single one, like, oh, look at Sparky and look at his certificate thing, you know? So today, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in depth on each and every single character you can get in Dash Tag. Because I know for some people they'll catch like 10 or so pets and then they'll be like, okay, this is boring now, I don't care. But they still want to know what every pet is like, you know, because they come out with really cool uh, little certificates about who they are and stuff. So that's what I'm going to be showing off today and kind of talking about. And uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and start with the first one, Amber, which is a horse, obviously. The favorite toy is hearts. Favorite food is fruit smoothie. I mean, she sounds like a pretty nice lady. Look at her. She's so beautiful. Amber's known for having a new crush every day. Who's it gonna be today? I feel like we all know someone just like Amber. Now here is Angel, and Angel's favorite toy is a telescope, and her favorite food is toothpaste? Okay, that's a bit strange, but that's that's alright, you know? Angel might really be an alien princess. I mean, I'd believe it. I mean, her favorite food is toothpaste. When you, like, accidentally swallow some toothpaste, it's, like, the worst thing that could ever happen to you, but it's it's her favorite food, okay? She's, she's totally an alien, alright? Next up, we have April, and April was actually my first pet that I got every single achievement for. I have a few of those now because I've been playing this game for, like, ever, constantly, but she was my first that ever achieved it. So her favorite toy is vacuums, which I don't know how, considering she's an animal. All I know is that every single animal ever has been, like, terrified of vacuums, especially my dogs. Her favorite food is daisies, you know, that's pretty cute, adorable, but isn't, isn't there an animal named Daisy? Like, I feel like that's a bit weird if your favorite food is daisies. Yeah, and, and there's, okay, does she, like, cannibalize the other? I don't know. I don't know how it works, okay? Maybe they're just talking about the flower. Maybe they're talking about Daisy the animal. That'd be really weird in that case. Um, but anyway, we're just, we're gonna, we're gonna keep going. April likes to maintain the illusion of control over life by vacuuming the living room. Okay, that's like really dark and depressing, uh, but I relate to it. So thank you, April. Thank you for your contribution. Next up is Archimedes. I think I'm saying that right, but oh my gosh. This frog, this this stupid frog, it's labeled as a rare pet, right? But I literally get this frog all the time. As you can see, it has every single achievement because I've caught it that much. I don't think I've ever spent a single coin trying to like advance its little statistics at all. That's how much I've gotten this frog. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I have a lot of pent up anger towards this frog. Also, its favorite toy is a math workbook. Like, who are you? Who even are you? His favorite food is ice pops. I mean, I can relate on that level. Apparently, nobody ever told Archimedes that sticking your tongue out is rude. I mean, it's kind of adorable, though. Look at it. Look at that little frog. I mean, it's really annoying because it's the only thing I catch literally ever, but it's it's cute, you know? And then Ash, this was the first super rare pet I ever caught. So Ash's favorite toy is volcanoes, obviously, because he's all like burnt and crispy and stuff. And his favorite food is melted ice pops. So, you know, Archimedes loved ice pops. And then Ash is like, I guess the alter ego or something here. I don't know. Melted ice pops. Because, you know, fire and all that, you know, melt in the ice pops. Ash is hard to approach, but she'll warm up to you if she doesn't burn you first. What a great lady. I thought it was a guy for a long time. I'm just now realizing that Ash is a lady. Ash is a lady fox, okay? Next up we have Bandit, which I love. I mean, he has like a sack of coins on his head. That's adorable. Uh, his favorite toy is diamonds. His favorite food is gold leaf. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds expensive because, you know, he's a bandit. He steals. He has expensive tastes, okay? If it sparkles or shines, you can bet Bandit wants it. That sounds a lot like my ferret. Like, a lot like my ferret. Like, my ferret will steal anything. Next up, after Bandit, we have Baxter. Baxter's favorite toy is a flip book, and his favorite food is root beer. Honestly, same, Baxter, same. I feel like I am 
connected spiritually with Baxter. I mean, I have drank, like, I know this is really unhealthy, but, like, four root beers today. Just, like, the little cans, you know, but, I mean, I'm drinking one right now, okay? I have a problem. I, I have a serious problem. Baxter has been thinking about changing his name. Perhaps James, question mark? And you know what? That's my brother's name. That's a Pari's name. So, like, is this really a Pari as a horse on dash tag? I don't know. Next up, we have Benny, the weirdest looking snake ever. I'm not a fan of Benny, but, you know, that's okay. You don't have to like them all. I mean, I, I appreciate who he is as a snake, but I just, I don't appreciate his appearance. Okay, favorite toy is striped paint. His favorite food is brownies. I mean, everyone can enjoy a good brownie, all right? So I feel like we can all relate to Benny in that way. He would never admit this to his friends, but Benny's full name is Benelope. I love that. I love that so much. You don't even understand. Because you know how the name Penny is shortened from like Penelope? But no, Benny. Benelope. That's just, that's amazing. Okay, next up we have B.O. or Bayo. I like to say it Bayo because if it's B.O., you know, you, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to think he has a name that's B.O. because that's like body odor. Body odor smells and you don't want to be called that. So I just pronounce it Bayo because I don't think he's really that, you know, I don't think he smells bad. All right. His favorite toy is eyeliner. He's like emo. I love him. His favorite food is tea cakes and Bayo is a pastel goth in need of some proper pastels. I love that description. Bayo is just amazing and he's literally my favorite pet. Okay. I mean, maybe not. He used to be. He was like big time my favorite pet, but I'm not so sure anymore because there's a lot of interesting ones, but he's definitely one of them and I have him maxed out for everything, which I'm proud of because, I mean, look how cute he is. He deserves it. Next up, we have Bernard, and Bernard's favorite toy is a cardboard mat, and his favorite food is fettuccine. He sounds like a really boring guy who works at a desk for his life. Bernard spends most of his free time with his breakdance crew, the Frog Legs. I feel like he works a desk job, but, like, has a secret life you know, where where he's with his breakdance crew, and that's that's pretty honorable, Bernard. And then Bianca, and for some reason, I feel like they're married. I don't know. Just, I have, I have an inkling. Her favorite toy is arcade cabinets, and her favorite food is popcorn. Bianca holds the high score in 13 different games at her local arcade. Her and Bernard are, like, complete opposites, but I kind of love them. Next up is Binky, and his favorite toy is ball-jointed dolls, which is just creepy. Like, who, who are you, Binky? What? His favorite food is blueberries, and Binky's Binkies are legendary. You won't find a happier bunny. I don't even know what that means. Binky overall is just kind of creepy. I mean, look at his smile. It just, it doesn't look right. There's something off about this bunny and I don't like him at all. Next up is Biscuit, which I like to think is named after Sea Biscuit. You know, the horse, the race horse. Their favorite toy is a cookie cutter. Their favorite food is eclairs, and Biscuits won many a bake-off with her signature key lime cookies. So this Biscuit likes to cook biscuits, but Sea Biscuit, the racehorse, liked to win races, but they both won. So like, the connection? I don't know. I mean, I'm just, I'm reaching out straws here. Next up is Blaze, which by the way, the marking on this horse is a Blaze. Yeah, bet you didn't know that. I mean, maybe you did. A lot of people are horse people, so they kind of know things like that. I don't know. Okay, anyway. Favorite toy is Hacky Sack. Favorite food is Pot Roast, which, um, it's kind of weird because pot roast has like meat in it and horses are herbivores. I don't know. Okay, whatever. Some call Blaze slow on the uptake, but no one calls him late for dinner. That sounds like me, Blaze. That sounds just like me. I love food. Food is just great. Next up, we have the first reindeer, which is Blitzen, and actually there's nine reindeer, and they're all named after like the original kind of reindeer that you think of. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen. Yeah, this is one of them. So Blitzen's favorite toy is batteries. Favorite food is schnitzel. I think that's some sort of German snack or something. I don't really know. How fast can Blitzen dash? Shockingly so. All right. That's a bit strange, but all right. And actually, while we're on the note of Blitzen, I want to actually just skip to all of the other reindeer. <laughs> See what I did there? All of the other reindeer. Because I kind of feel like they have to be shown in order. So next up, we have Comet. Favorite toy is barrettes. Favorite food is ice cream. And before she reminds you, remember, comets are made of ice, not fire. Wow, life lesson learned. Next up, we have Cupid, the little girly girl reindeer. Favorite toy is romance novels. And favorite food is marshmallows. I feel like that's very fitting. Due to safety concerns, Cupid's bow has now been replaced with a marshmallow gun. All right, sounds good. I mean, I wouldn't mind being hit with a marshmallow out of nowhere. Instead of being, like, hit with Cupid's arrow, that would probably hurt. But, like, Cupid's, you know, marshmallow? I mean, that'd be fine, because I could eat it afterwards, too. All right, next up is Dancer. And Dancer's favorite toy is ballet shoes. 
Favorite food is granola bars. I mean, okay. And Dancer's favorite holiday song? Carol of the Bells, of course. I've never even heard of that. Let's play some of it right now. Heart of the bells, sweet silver bells, all sing to say, throw cares away, Christmas is here, bring me good cheer. All right, that was a pretty good song. Next up, we have Dasher, and Dasher is wearing a little headband that's just adorable. His favorite toy is short shorts. His favorite food is milk. Do you even dash, bro? I feel like this is a pari as a reindeer. Next up, we have Donner. Donner is adorable, okay? I love him. Favorite toy is collectible figures. Favorite food is apple pie. Oh my god, this is the saddest description. Oh my, I don't even want to read it. I want to cry. <laughs> Donner isn't sure why, but nobody ever wants to come to his parties. I'll come to your parties, Donner. Oh my god. I just like got filled with so much sadness. I'm like, I'm really about to cry right now. Poor Donner. Okay. Next up we have Grinch, which is a super rare. And uh, his favorite toy is emo poetry. His favorite food is hash. And to Grinch, the only good part of the holidays are the long, dark nights. Okay, okay. I, I will allow you that since your name is Grinch. Next up, we have Prancer. And Prancer's favorite food, I mean toy, favorite toy is books. You cannot eat books. Favorite food is celery. And it takes Prancer two hours every morning to get his candy cane to look just right. I mean, you know, we, we all have our little thing. Next up, we have Rudy, aka Rudolph. I mean, obviously this is Rudolph, but I don't know if they can actually use the name Rudolph if it's like copyrighted or whatever. So it's Rudy. Rudy the Red-Nosed Reindeer, obviously. His favorite toy is safety reflectors. Favorite food is hot sauce, probably because his nose is so red. Haha, <laughs> get it? And his nose may look like a stoplight. But Rudy is always go, go, go. That's adorable. And lastly, of the reindeer, we have Vixen. Favorite toy is eyeshadow. Favorite food is tomato soup. Why? That's literally just like tomato sauce. Like, I don't get why anyone's favorite food is tomato soup. This is like Mom Pari, like, actually. Her favorite food is tomato soup. Okay, anyway. To Vixen, glitter isn't just a fashion statement. It's a way of life. All right, well, I didn't realize when I started filming this video that it would actually take quite a while to get through every single one of the dash tag pets. So I will definitely be making a part two to this video and let me know in the comment section down below, out of all the pets that we covered today, which one is your favorite? Mine is definitely Bayo. He's just adorable and emo and beautiful. And anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Good bye. Ooh, I'm a rebel, just I've been feeling it since 1960